It sparked a debate in Detroit, and months later, residents are gearing up for a fight to keep piles of petroleum coke, known as pet coke, out of their community. 7 Action News reporter Ronnie Dahl has the story now from River Rouge. Nobody from Detroit Bulk Storage, the company proposing this, would talk to me on camera, but a lot of the people here in River Rouge were pretty passionate, telling me they don't want pet coke in their neighborhoods. This is what everyone is so riled up about. Mounds of pet coke. When it's dry, it blows through the air, coating neighborhoods in a carbon black dust. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Sandra Pulowski is a mother of two, and if Detroit bulk storage wins permission from Michigan's Department of Environment's quality to store pet coke on its property in River Rouge, she would have to look at it and breathe it every day. It would be right behind my house. How can you fight against the air pollution? There's nothing you can do. You can't tell a lady, stay in your house, don't come out. You've lived here how long? 28 years. Longtime River Rouge resident Annette Morrison shares Sandra's concerns. It's just bad for the environment altogether, all the way around. I mean, we have enough problems without adding to the problem. Last year, pet coke mounds were removed from a property in southwest Detroit after it was discovered the company didn't have the proper permits. Now, Detroit Bulk Storage has applied for a permit to store it in the small downriver community. The proposed site sits close to the river where people fish and close to the park where kids play. It's just a dirty, dirty substance. Rhonda Anderson is with the Sierra Club. She says there are reasons for people to be concerned. It'll blow all over residents' area and onto the river. Then you have water contamination as well as contamination of the residents in their property. The Department of Environmental Quality is hosting a meeting on this topic Wednesday. If you want to voice your opinion, for or against, we'll put the information on the meeting on our website, WXYZ.com. In River Rouge, Ronnie Dahl, 7 Action News. Okay.